Hey guys, Peyton Snayback here again for another movie review for you guys tonight. Um, just just got home from seeing the movie The Intruder, um, which most people don't. I don't think many people know this, but this this movie was actually kind of like a remake to uh, the movie Cold Creek Manor, which I have not watched yet. My mom has a DVD of it. Meant to watch it last night before seeing this movie, but never got to. But uh, I might watch it some other time. I don't know. Um, I do remember, um, I watched, uh, Chris Stuckman's, uh, movie re review of this one the other night, um, and he said that, uh, the movie kind of reminded him of the movie Cold Creek Manor, it was kind of similar to, that's because it was kind of like a remake to that, um, which I know Dennis Quaid is in Cold Creek Manor as well, um, he's in this one as well, um, and you know, um, if you guys all know this by now, you know, there's been a couple of movies that's been called Intruder or The Intruder or Intruders, you know. Like, we got a slasher movie that came out in 1989 um, called Intruder, which was one about a, uh, a killer in a uh, grocery store, which that one I th was probably one of the best slashers in 1989. Um, then there was one with Miranda Cosgrove in 2015, which that was also a pretty cool thriller. I liked how... You know, Miranda Cosgrove was in a, uh, um, thriller like that. It was kind of cool seeing her in something like that. Uh, then I think there was one in 2016 that came out from Shout Factory called Intruder. I can't remember. And then, uh, now we have this one, The Intruder, which, um, this one, this is one of those movies where it's like one of those, like, stalky, like, movies. I always kind of like these kind of movies. Um, you know, like, movies like Fear, The Boy Next Door, Swim fan. No, so there was there was one that never came out the DVD. I hope it does. Hopefully it does because it looks like the Shaw Factory could put it out. Uh, uh, pa the Paperboy. That was a good one. Like you know th those kind of like stocky movies. People like being obsessed with someone like the movie Obsessed with uh Beyonce, um and Ali Arder, which I talked with Ali before. Um, but this movie is basically about um. This, this couple, this married couple, who, uh, they buy this very, very, very expensive house, and Dennis Quaid's character, he owns the place, but he has to get rid of it, um, and, uh, as they move in, they're getting, they get, they get settled in, you know, uh, Dennis Quaid, he's acting, like, very strange, and he, he's coming over uninvited, and, like, you know, he's mowing the grass for them, and, you now he's coming over for, like, dinners and stuff. He's, like, coming over and, like, not letting them know about it. He's just coming over uninvitedly. And, you know, and the husband, he thinks that there's something, there's something up with this guy. You know, there's something not right about him, and, you know, he's kind of strange. But, you know, the wife doesn't think anything of it, because, you know, um, his, uh, his wife died of, uh, cancer, and, uh, you know, she, she basically just feels bad for the guy, you know, she doesn't think anything about it, but, you know, but the, the husband, of course, you know, Michael Ellie's character, he, he thinks that there, there is something up, up with this guy, you know, there, there's just something that is just not quite right about this guy, you know, there, I don't want to get into, into the movie, or like, uh, say any spoilers or nothing, but I actually really like this one, I mean, you know, I, like I said, I always kind of like these, you know, like, stalky, like, movies, you know, the last stalky movie I saw the latest one was, you know, Greta, which that one was a pretty cool one. I highly recommend that one. I know that comes up the Blu-ray at the end of this month, which I can't wait for to get. Um, yeah, but very good movie. And this one was also pretty good as well. It went... I don't want to say spoilers, but this movie was kind of, like, extreme. I mean, I don't want to say how, but it was very, very, very extreme and very off-the-wall crazy. And I absolutely love this one. Um, and I'm... I, I highly recommend this one as well, and I also recommend uh, Greta as well, as well. Um, but um, let me know what you guys think about this movie. I think, I know they've been advertising this movie a lot. I think they really want to get um, people to see this movie. Honestly, I thought it was going to be one of those movies where people wasn't going to talk about it that much. No one didn't want to go see it. Um, but... Looks to me like a lot of people did, because um, at my work, you know, people were talking about how they wanted to go see this movie, and, you know, I don't know if any of my co-workers went, I don't know, but, um, uh, yeah, but this movie was really well done. I mean, it was, you know, Dennis Quaid did a very good job playing this creepy guy, um, and 
I don't know. I, I absolutely loved it. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this movie. Um, I know the next one I'm going to go see, and I know this is going to be probably like a popular one. Uh, I'm going to see the movie Ma next. Um, which I'm guessing is, it's kind of like a stalky movie. I don't, I don't think it 100% is, but it looks pretty creepy and very interesting. So I'm going to be checking that one out on, on June 1st. So, um, yeah, but anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know what you guys thought about, I think about this movie, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.